This is Hannibal here from the HannibalTV.com with the legendary former AWA, WCW, WWE superstar who has allegedly, well, actually, you said you had sex with over 5,000 women. Al Snow confirmed that that. No, 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 a thousand. I'm not going to exaggerate that Bruce Player did. Um, no, it's been right, right around a thousand. All I right. mean, give, give or take 10, it might be over a thousand. Marty Gennetti. Marty Gennetti, for anyone that doesn't recognize him, he looks very similar. He's growing his hair back. <laughs> but it sucks. <laughs> hey, you got this At least you have hair. I'm younger than you, and mine's gone. <laughs> yeah, hey, you ain't going to believe this, man. I do so much charity work, you know. I go with the kids, you know. Um, they call it Make a Make a Wish Foundation. I, I do that. You, you, you meet. We um, <laughs> yeah, I fixed it. We um, well, I. You go see a kid. His last wish is to meet you. And I'm about to cry now. Um. Yeah, I am about to cry. Where's my glasses? Fuck. You meet a kid, man, and his wish is to meet you. And you meet him. And you love him. And you, and you fall in love, you know? Must have lost his man. Well, I've never had a kid that's uh, dying wishes to meet me, so that's pretty cool. Well, uh, but what I was going to say out of that is, is little Joey, you get a letter from the family, and they say, thank you so much. We, we had not seen little Joey smile for weeks. And then you showed up, and he smiled the whole day because we did. We we played. Then we had little action figures. We played, you know. And then and then they were like, "But little Joey died." I guess uh, this is recent. Unfortunately, it happened all the time. Sean stopped doing it with me. You know, WWE, back then, WWF. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, uh, WWE. Uh, damn, I went dark. Um, uh, WWE was setting it up. Back then, it was WWF. You set it up. You know, make a, make a wish family. Me and him got re requested a lot. But... Oh, yeah, it's one of my hookers. Oh, it's my brother. Hold on, man. By the way, I'm a Dodgers fan, so I'm not a big, I don't really like it. No, hey, man, you on the air. <laughs> well, you're on the air. <laughs> Marty's brother is on the um, what, what, what? Okay, you're on the air. What was, what you going to say? That's tonight. Auburn, you know what? They're going to beat Auburn. Okay. Hi. Right. Hi, right, bye. That's my brother. That's my hero right there. All the if I don't put this piece of paper in here, look. Well, you better you not you know, show shit. Didn't you get laid last night? Do what? Forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry. Say again. I said, did you get laid last night, or are you were you the working? Girl across the, there's oh man, she looked like Missy Hyatt when Missy still looked good. So just sometimes when you make these paper teeth, um, uh, she yeah, she man, she she was, you know, Missy back in her young days. Damn. <laughs> That was one of the hottest girls. I was gonna say bitches, one of the hottest girls ever. But then she became a hoe. 
<laughs> Speaking of divas, I know you've had your fair share. Uh, you, you won't name any names, though, on camera of, of the ones that uh, that have been added to your belts, will you? Hey, let me ask you something. When you trained, when you spar, when you spar, do you, do you go all out? I mean, you lay it in, or do you hold? It, it, it really depends uh, who you're oh, going up against. Is. Like yep. if it's uh, someone your size or someone smaller that has better technique, that I look, man, and you know better. You might be smaller, but you might be able to get underneath them kicks and bam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the but, uh, uh, the one hundred eighty five pound guys are the most dangerous, I think. The one hundred eighty five to two hundred and five because they have the speed. Right, and they got both. They got a little bit of power. And they got some speed. I heard you're pretty badass. Uh, uh, I, hope, I hope so. <laughs> By the way, I'm not as bad. Why, why, why are you letting it go, though? Pardon me. Why, why are you letting it go? Or, or, or are you are you are you still trying? I I still do stuff here and there, but I'm at this is easier. This is a lot easier. Of course, well. of course, and, and I agree with that. <laughs> but you know, for me, I still want to do it. You know. Hey, there's a fan on here. There's actually uh, a lot of people watching this right now. Someone's asking how your relationship is with with Sean right now, Joshua. The first, the first time I caught him sucking a dick was uh, – wait a minute, wait, let me start over. <laughs> no, I love Sean, man. We, we, you know, we, we, we went through a little something, and it, it didn't have nothing to do with sucking dick. I mean, if he does that, I, in fact, I'm going to bet he don't. Does he take a blowjob? Mm. <laughs> I ain't betting on that one. <laughs> but, but um, no, nah, I love the brother. I love him, man. That's, that's my boy. Did you ever hear that story that Shane Douglas tells that supposedly Patterson uh, called up Jim Powers and made a proposition and then – I was in my tooth. Hold on, let me get. All right. Okay. 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 You always hear about these Jim Powers rumors. Jim, and... Jimmy, Jimmy's so good, man. Jimmy's such a good brother. You know, or what you were saying is, and he told me, he said one time Pat Patterson you know, get bought him a hotel room, and he was like, well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but then Pat come in there. <laughs> but then, lay back. I will take care of the rest. And Jimmy was like, uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. And, and let, me, let me, you know, I colored, man, that looks like a, I'm a hockey player. Yeah, you'd fit in well up here in Canada. But Tampa Bay just won the. Uh... Yeah, they won the whole thing. The, the cup. They got the Stanley. So what happened with this uh, this murder thing? Everybody's asking about it. Uh, was that just an angle? What was going on? Um, you know, once the police got involved, and when I say the police, I mean the, the GBI, which is Georgia Bureau of Investigation, it got serious. And I was just joking. <laughs> I was trying to set up a storyline. I have to say that right now. Put it that. I have to say that right now. You know, because they're trying to. They, it was forty years ago, and and you know what? You know what gives me Hannibal? The, they don't care about that thirteen-year-old getting raped. It's like, oh, you killed somebody. What do you think he was going to do to me after he raped me? Because so many rape victims get murdered afterwards. I was 13 years old, man. 13. You, you know, as a grown-up, or even if any, any kids are listening to this, you say what you think, but when it actually happens, that ain't what I expected. <laughs> I didn't expect that reaction. You know, I hit him in the head with a brick. It was laying right there. I say a brick, it was a piece of concrete thing. Um, and then, you know, if you hit somebody in the temple, you know that from martial arts. Temple, very vulnerable. 
And I evidently hit him too hard. And he died right there. And now, now I'm left. I'm 13 years old. Dude just tried to rape me. And here's a body on me. What I do? I, you know, in hindsight, call the police, tell them what happened. But in the moment, oh shit, I gotta get rid of the body. I mean, it took a minute to stop being upset he was trying to rape me. Um, and then it was like, damn, what is the dead body? What did I do? I told, you know, I, I guess I'm going to tell it again now. <laughs> I'm going to get myself. I don't give a fuck. I wish y'all would fucking think about the 13-year-old that was getting raped. Call me a murderer. Man, the 13-year-old was getting raped. Do y'all care? No. No, you're a murderer. How about if, if I was on top of your daughter? Would you murder me? Anyway, I'm sorry. Did I just lose it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just went out there, didn't I? Uh, so, so you're basically saying it wasn't a storyline, but you're saying it's a storyline. I have to say it's a storyline for the police part. Which, now they're going to go, but you ain't going to find it because I lied. I lied. I hate to tell you all this, but I lied. I did not drag him and put him into the river. Me and my nephew poured gas on him and burnt the body up. We, we burnt the body up. And I don't know what y'all know about crem cremation. The bones, the bones, man, they don't all burn up like that. It was so many bone things that we were, you know, we dug a big hole and put the bones in them. Um, you know, burn, burning the body, don't get rid of the bones. Now, the real question is, how were you at bowling back in those days? Very good. I had, I was national champion. I had a 176 um, average at 13 years old. Now, today they got that, that grip. They call it resin grip. It, like, it grabs and mm, 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 it runs right into the pins. But back in my day, we had the hard rubber. It's like, uh, <laughs> you better be real accurate. <laughs> when did but I was, you know, I was a national uh, champion? Uh, I had a national uh, high average. You mentioned earlier, like it could be anywhere between a thousand and five thousand uh, ladies. Women. Were you a ladies' man before you even got into wrestling? Like back in the days working at the bowling alley, did you start uh, picking up like back in those days too? Well, and it was an accident, you know, because, you know, I, I, here's the way I looked at it. I like this girl. <laughs> it wasn't like, let me add to my belt. <laughs> you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that. It was like, man, I like this girl. And then, you know, you, you, wait a minute, I'm trying to fix that tooth. Don't swallow the paper. <laughs> But um, you no, know, you know, you you, if you're an idiot like me, dude, I'm single. So I mean, everybody can get mad at me all they want. I'm single. <laughs> hey, hey, come here and say hello. One of my brothers. Bring bring the girl from across the hall. What's up? What's up, Hannibal? Well, um, give my hair. What we're we gonna do about this? Is that is that she uh? Well, hey, have y'all ever drank um, um, nail polish? You can get high as hell. Yeah, he, yeah. he brought some here. It's pink though. What 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 up with the pink? Hey, since you're being so open, what? And you already explained the murder uh, situation. What murder? An accidental death. There's the a big difference. Death. Yeah. What happened with that post you made a few years ago about your alleged daughter? What the hell was all that about? Yeah, that was that was a hack job. Well, uh, me and me and Nick was talking about that earlier. Um, we was talking about that earlier. Um, I I got a call in the middle of the night, and somebody said, "Take that down, Marty. Take that down." You know, because I post some some stupid shit. <laughs> And they were like, take it down, take it down. 
a hard way. You look so, wonderful. Um, and so you know, I'm like, what the fuck y'all talking about? And I went and looked on my Facebook, and there wasn't nothing there. So I thought, oh, y'all fucking with me. All right. Look, the Braves won. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. Take that um, stupid hat off. <laughs> Um, but anyway, aren't you in New York now? Anyways, they can't be too happy about you wearing that hat in uh, Albany. Uh, the Yankees, the Yankees, they advanced. Where are you in Canada? Where are you at? I'm near, not too far from Montreal, which which no longer has a team, as you know. You, you know what, man? Don't get mad at me, but I hate French Canadians. Yeah, well, the, the French females are very attractive. Montreal yeah. has the best girls, but I understand. If the French Canadian males, sorry about this, uh, Jacques Rougeau, you might be an exception, but yeah. over there, they're assholes. They're arrogant. I, I, love, I love Jacques. He, he used to get mad at me for saying his name that way. Like, like yeah. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. Like, That's not how you say my name. Yeah, you know Raymond's cool shit. I, I like Raymond. I'm sorry about I'm trying to fix it too. Hey, I, Carlos just tipped me twenty dollars. He's finding you very entertaining. Who, Carlos? Car, you don't know I'm a fan watching this. Tip me twenty dollars because he's so entertained by this. But I interrupted you. You were explaining uh, what the deal was with the post about your daughter. Who is? Who well, that was a hack. I mean, I, I, I'll i take credit, like, you know, this thing that just happened to murder. It's a storyline that even WWE can't keep up with. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me, let me get that too. How's that? It looks great. I got the blank blank paper. <laughs> WWE needs to hire you as a writer. You can come up with... Uh... With better stories than they run these days, but what hey, hey, you know what would happen? To put me in the writing room, and they would be running. <laughs> they were like, "God damn, <laughs> this shit made it worldwide, man!" It, you know, it was a storyline. You know, a disgruntled cop was going to come get me, and, and you know, re rename himself. And it didn't get that. I mean, Entertainment Tonight or the Inside Edition, TMZ, which they get everything. Um, all these major people magazine and all my friends from different countries like Germany, uh, uh, Japan, Australia. M my people were calling saying like, Marty, you murdered somebody. And here's the thing. I, here's still what sticks in me. A 13-year-old boy who's getting raped. And you're mad at him. You know what it comes down to? People just want to make their self feel better about their self. Okay. Did, did, did I murder the guy or was it a storyline? Problem is on both sides, you on the murder side. You don't care about the little kid, 13 years old, man was trying to rape him, might have killed him afterwards because a lot of rape victims get murdered afterwards. You know? Nobody seemed to care about that. All they want to do is put MJ down. You're a murderer. You're a murderer. Murderer, murderer, murder, murder, murder. You could you come try to get put your dick in my ass. You'll be next. Well, you don't have to worry about me trying that. Now, as far as the girl, the daughter, what the hell was the story? Oh, of that was a whole hack job. Or, and, and I guess that's what we was going to say. Um, you know, that I didn't understand. I got a call in the middle of the night, man. Take that down. You know, because I post, I post some things that, mm, <laughs> you know, not everybody will post that. <laughs> but, um. One of my friends called and said, take that down. And I just woke up. I barely just got to sleep. I probably just had sex with three girls. Um, because one time, I'll tell you later, but the triplets. 
and they all, yep, they look good. I mean, one looks good, they all look good. Um, but the triplets, uh, I don't think it was that night, but it could have been. I get a phone call, like, take that down, take it down. I'm like, take what down? You know, I, I didn't know what the hell they talking about. And they said, the thing about your daughter, I'm like, what are you talking about? And, you know, so I, I'm getting on, it was on Facebook. I'm getting on Facebook, checking it out. And as I'm, how's that look? You look stunning. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to be, a, I'm going to be a dentist. I want to think, when it looks like this, I have to drink coffee so it, it rounds it down to my damn ugly ass teeth color. I'm sure all of our gay fans are jerking off to you right now. <laughs> By the way, Crypto Spasm uh, gave me a tip. He actually tipped me fifty dollars. He's enjoying this, and he says, "Rockers for the Hall of Fame, 2021." And you know, I can actually go uh, now. I can go because we was in, I was involved in a lawsuit. All right. Hold on, look, this is without the tooth. Somebody's going to still frame that. Don't do not do it. Somebody's going to still frame it and like, look at him. <laughs> he plays hockey. <laughs> you could actually give blowjobs without opening your mouth with that. You know what Kurt Henning, Mr. Ferg, he would say, you could eat corn through a picket fence. <laughs> Someone, uh, Crypto Spasm on here says you there should. There it is. Is that good? By the way. You should be in the YouTube Hall of Fame for the quality content you provide. So the so the lawsuit's over now. You're saying basically you can't get in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, they couldn't. We couldn't even talk to each other, um, you know, because of the lawsuit. And it's on CTE. You got that too, because you've been martial art and for how long? Uh, yeah, I've got. I've had my number of concussions, but uh, right. I'm not over the limit yet. I don't think. Thank God. But you know, you know what? Um, when it hits you hard, because you know, I got thirty years of getting my my head pounded. And when I first started, they didn't have ring mats. And right, you know, around the ring, it was concrete floor. So when you land, bam! <laughs> it was like, God damn! <laughs> I don't think I want to do it again. Then you tell the guy, "Give me one more." <laughs> right? You know this. You know, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Like an idiot. God damn, you just got knocked out. And then you're saying to you, telling his brother, one more, give me another one. <laughs> hey, were you on that European tour when Coco Beware beat up the agent or the or the He devil? didn't mean to. He didn't mean to. The guy was being a dick. Uh he was a badass hockey player. You know what? A lot of people want to talk about wrestling. Like, yeah, man, it's entertainment. Yes, it is. But yeah, you guys, you guys, oh, y'all fake it. We act it. I mean, do you call what's that? Days of our lives, you know, soap opera. Do you call that fake? <laughs> it's the same thing. And then you have to go ahead and, and and let them know what it feels like. You go ahead and put them to the floor. And it's so funny, man. They look like a fish. When you hold them, you know, when you slam them to the floor, you, you probably know this. You hold them to the floor after slamming them in there, you hold them down, and they're squirming like a fish trying to get back into the water. You know, and, 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 and it's like fake, right? Fake. Why, why are you squirming? <laughs> why do you want some air? Because sometimes you put your hand on them, and you already see how they, they scramble to get that air. That's a little bit crude, but <laughs> but true. There's yeah. a weird uh, question on here from a fan. Is Ben? Let me ask you something, man. Are you going to try to get back into wrestling? I, I'm happy being a reporter. I don't have to take any bumps. You, you know what, Bret Hart? Yeah, I hear, you know what, Bret Hart? He, he goes, I don't make the news. I just report it. <laughs> there you go. So there's a fan on here asking. I've never heard this before. Were you playing the part of The Undertaker at Royal Rumble 94? No, that wasn't me. That was a uh, Brooklyn Brawler. As far as I know, uh, Stephen Barty, who I love him, man. He's, he's a good brother. 
What was up with Steve and Pat Patterson? Since you you seem to have all the inside info on Patterson. Ne next question. <laughs> next. <laughs> cool. Nick hanging out with him a few weeks ago. Do what? I think Nick Hat was hanging out with Steve a few weeks ago. Maybe. Hey, he if you, did you ever have sex with Stacy Carter? I wish I could say yes. Did you? You don't have to wish. You can say it. It might not be true, but you can say it. <laughs> I could say it, but I try and be honest. Are you married? No comment. Uh, okay, that's tricky. <laughs> if she's watching, you're in trouble. <laughs> well, I'll be honest with you. I don't think she could sit through two minutes of this. Is that, is that, is that bad? Well, for a non-wrestling fan, I don't know. <laughs> wrestling fans are loving this, but if you're not a wrestling fan, it might be a little tough. You, you, should, you wouldn't even be seeing it. <laughs> There's some fans on here, by the way, that want to know your Harley Race and Iron Sheik impressions. Could you give us those? Well, for, well you know, my favorite Harley story, because I love him, man. I mean, that, that, he took me under his wing, and he didn't use deodorant, so I had to smell it. But he took me under his wing. Uh, but one time we left St. Louis, um, uh, Kiel, it's called the Kiel Auditorium, heading back to Kansas City, which is like three hours drive. And, you know, you sometimes you drive fast. And we're speeding, get pulled over. Cop comes up. It's at nighttime and he's got sunglasses on, right? So, you know, he's playing the whole role. Okay, I can play with this one. I, I can get him. You know, he walk up on me on nighttime with sunglasses. All right, watch. And he and he was like, um, "Why are you why are you speeding?" I was like, "Oh man, we got to get we you know, we wrestlers. We pro we just left to kill kill our tour." He goes, "You know who Harley Race is?" I'm like, and and then I started thinking, yes, got away, got away, because Harley got away with everything. And I'm like, yeah, that's my brother, man. I'll see him in a little bit. He goes, good. Y'all have something to talk about because I just gave him a ticket too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I thought I was going to get away with some shit, man. He, he gave, and, and he actually really did. The next day at TV taping, Harley shows up with his ticket. Fuck that guy. I will beat his ass. If he's ever out of uniform. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, I am right there with you, Har. I'm right there. <laughs> why didn't he wear Did I tell you about my friend Nick? No, why why didn't Harley wear deodorant? You gave us a scoop there. Like, did he ever explain? You know, one time, one time, um, and I, this is where I fell in love with him. Um he had a, a strap match. You know, you do the wrist to wrist, and you got the strap. You know, you do what you know. You beat each other. And when I went back to the dressing room after my match, you know, you go take a shower, but I hear this coming from the shower. And you hear the shower on, but I'm like, what the fuck's going on right there? And I look around the corner, and Harley has a strap. He's doing, he's, he's smacking his own. I'm like, Harley, what the fuck's up? Because he, he was my mentor, right? Um, you know, I'm trying to learn from him. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you know, what the hell? And he goes, well, I just had a strap match. I have to explain to my family when I get home why there's no marks on me. <laughs> He put marks on himself so it would look real to his family. <laughs> yeah, I love. I fell in love with him, man. <laughs> right there, he's in the damn shower <laughs> because he wanted. <laughs> That's insane. Now, what about the Iron Sheik? Could we get his impression? You told me the story about his his clothesline to the girl last time, but. Uh... They keep him kind of quiet now, don't they? His handlers don't really let the Iron Sheet come out anymore, do they? I saw him. I saw him at Wrestle WrestleCon, uh, you know, right the day of, or you know, that weekend of WrestleMania. 
And he was, man, he's in a wheelchair now. It's sad because I love the brother. And I think he loves me back. Um, yeah, man, it was it was kind of hard. We took pictures together. We laughed. And, you, you know, he always says, uh, uh, my, he got, we, we, we say MJ. Uh, MJ. He goes, we Kentucky thoroughbreds. See them fuckers? Jackasses. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love him. I miss him a lot. <laughs> There's a fan on here that Dave Kruger wants to know your opinion on Trump versus Biden. Well, you know, Joe, I thought was going to fall asleep during the, the, the debate the other day. Um, I don't know, Joe. I know Trump. I, me and DT are friends. We, we got some background. <laughs> we we got some stories together. <laughs> um, but I don't know, Joe. You know, so I can't get mad at him. He's doing what he does. That's it's the political football. You know, like some of my friends I can't get them to understand because they're like, "How oh, you like Trump? How oh, you like Trump? I, why do why do you not like Trump? Uh, because uh, he's racist." <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you say that, it's like, man, if I got to go through all this, here, here, here's me, Mike Tyson, Trump, good friends. Do you think Mike Tyson would put up with a racist? <laughs> all right. And, 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 and pr pretty, pretty up there, Charles Barkley, and he's outspoken as fuck. Friends, do you think Charles, because Charles will speak, <laughs> do you think he would deal with a racist? <laughs> you know, all, all these all these people that, uh, you know, uh, athletes, you know, that's, you know, I, I don't know so much about the Cardi B's and all that, um, but I know the boys, you know. And um, you know what? The Rock WWE Hall of Fame too. Trump got in the WWE Hall of Fame before you somehow. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's when they asked me about how do you feel about being in the Hall of Fame, I'm like, Donald Trump's in it. <laughs> do I need to say anything else? <laughs> well, he ain't never had one match. <laughs> and least, he's in the Hall of Fame. At okay. least he promoted to WrestleMania. Yeah, it hurts my feel. I would I would actually like to be there because it does for the average wrestling fan, uh, it shows recognition. It, you know, it, it's like, oh, man, you must have been good, you know, type of thing. For that reason, you know, because I, I, I fuck up a lot. I do a lot of things probably shouldn't do, you know. And, and a lot of them are because I'm a single dude and I like women. Um, you, but, you, but, you know, Hannibal, I feel like if you're a single guy and you ain't messing with three or four or five women at a time, it's un American. <laughs> you know I mean? I mean, what? Something's wrong. <laughs> Do you remember when uh, after uh, Mike Tyson lost to Buster Douglas? I would. Let me, let me throw it. this out there, right? Because me and Mike are good friends. Right. We're good friends. We talk. To, he, he'll come in. Mikey, what the fuck do you do now? <laughs> and that's when I know I fucked up. <laughs> when Mike tells me, what the fuck do you do now? Because <laughs> I made the newspapers here recently, you know, with that damn murder thing. Yeah. <laughs> but when they brought in uh, Buster Douglas for that. Oh, um, oh so, so we, we was in New York. We, we you know, doing our show. They had the New York Athletic Commission. And you know, hopefully I'm not going to get off the, you know, I'm telling this, but um, the athletic commission, uh, you know, because it, it was Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson and, and who the fuck, who's Buster? <laughs> and Mike Tyson and Buster, <laughs> you know, and, and, but, but they said, don't bet on the fight. And we're like laughing like, what? And we, what? <laughs> You know, Mike Tyson has made a black mark on the box. You know, street fights. I mean, he was fucking, what's her name? Robin Gibbons at the time. That was, uh, um, 
you know, and he was doing that, and, and you know, she, she was claiming white beating and all that shit. He was going through all that shit. So they were saying he's made a black spot on, on boxing. Don't bet on that fight. And we're we're all like, shut up, shut up, shut up. And then Buster, <laughs> and if you watch the fight, you see, I, you know, myself, I got boxing, martial arts. Mike was, Mike was holding back. He, he would, when he did, when he, the, uh, the round before he got knocked out, he, he did, he, he went ahead. And fucking put Buster on his ass. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like he had get get up, get up, goddamn it, get up. You know, um, it was so fixed. There's a fan on here, is Ben, that wants to know who came up with the barbershop window idea. Was there any other ideas presented? It was you. Yeah, yeah. And Sean likes to say he said, "Well, I came up with that for me," and he said, "Me." It's on its own video. <laughs> I ain't making it up. I came up with, with, with me. Is that a girl? That's not uh, Missy Hyatt's uh, friend. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still single. And there's a girl across the hallway. Damn. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, man. Um, Mike didn't lose that fight. <laughs> you know, I ain't got nothing against Buster. I don't know him. I know Mike, um, but he didn't lose that fight. He he had to. And, and I'm like I said, I hope they don't come shoot me. Like right now, I'm not supposed to tell y'all that James Comey affected <laughs> um, uh, what's his name Trump with with the, 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 the disease. Because Comey was about to go to fucking. He still is go to prison the rest of his life. So who would the Democratic people use to get Trump? All you got to do is like, look, man, in this day and, and time, and now you're, now you're infected. <laughs> now now you, you're gone. <laughs> That's how they do it in China. They, they walk by like... Just like that, a little tap. I can't just, picture you. In China. You're going to die in a few China. minutes. China. You wouldn't last in China. You'd end up in prison there. Yeah, that's what I heard. Except for um, this one correction officer girl, she's had sex with more of the guys than, than the rest of them. What? You shouldn't be. You know, I accidentally j did jail time in Tallahassee, Florida. And um, our CO, come CO, correction officer, um, she was pretty, pretty, you know, young black lady. And you say, what? Well, well, why'd you bear her color? I'm being descriptive. I don't, I don't see where that's racist. Everything you do now, if you spit on the ground, that was racist. Why'd you spit on the ground? That's where we live. <laughs> you, you know, you can't do shit no more without it being racist. But anyway, very and, true, <laughs> right? And and um, but me and her went like late night. We went to the laundry room. You know, it's where you clean. You know, we well, you know a laundry room. But in jail, you 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 line up. You put your clothes inside your pillowcase, and you put it in line. You know, and as it, each person cleans, you move up. You know, you're next in line. Um, but overnight, that at one time in particular, me and her were having sex, and the damn sergeant just happened to be making rounds. You know, he just happened to come around, and she had to, you know, I had to jump up off of her, hide behind the damn. It's a, it's a thing where you throw the dirty towels. I don't know what's. I'm hiding behind that. <laughs> I'm hiding behind that while she's explaining to the sergeant why she was in that room. All he had to do is walk in there, and I, I'm fucked, <laughs> busted. <laughs> but he didn't. He, you know, he's, wherever she goes. Where are you going? My brother's leaving me. But uh, yeah, man, sex in jail, it, it ain't that bad. The brother man wants to know who is your favorite wrestler today. And what do you think about wrestling's future? I already know that I'm your favorite wrestler. Of course. Yep. I don't know why you won't get back in there. 
What what happened? You had AIDS or something? <laughs> what happened that you uh, couldn't? Actually, no. Uh, uh, Abdullah the butcher infected me with hepatitis. Oh, okay. I'm, oh, cured. Okay. I'm cured now. It's different than AIDS. It's okay, actually. Pamela Anderson, you don't get cured from hepatitis. You do. Well, welcome to 2020. You do get cured. Yeah, I'm behind. You're right about that. Well, then get back in the ring, brother. I saw one of your matches. You're pretty good, man. Well, what about the future of wrestling? To get back to that guy's question, uh, what do you think about the future? I don't give it much hope. You know, we, we, we said that back in 1990. I, I think, I don't know what year it is right now. I think it's 2020 or something. Um, but back in 1990, we said, where it, where it go from here? Because, you know, psychology-wise, crowd psychology, you do so much. And you keep up in it, you know, because the, the next guy wants to do better. And then the next guy better. And then the next guy better, which is good. But then we always used to say, where does it end? You take a gun and shoot somebody. And it came down to that. Oh, New Jack stabbed up a her brother. I, New Jack's my boy, man. I love New Jack. He stabbed a boy up in Jacksonville. Stabbed him up during the match. And we're sitting there going like, okay, now, how do we do better than that? <laughs> You were not on you know, that show, were you? You were not on that show, were you? No, I wasn't. On, I was watching. Yeah. New, New Jack and I are boys. I love you know. We love. I love him. Um, you know, not, not the Pat Patterson style love, and I love Pat. I heard he's not doing good. I think he has dementia or something because I was told that Rocky Johnson's funeral, he gave a very bizarre speech where oh, it didn't seem like he was all there. Makes sense, man. Because you know, because he's up there. And here's what people don't understand. And I hate this. You know, I got brain damage. You know, I got CTE actually. Um, and you know what that is. And and when I hear my 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 friends say, "Oh yeah, you know that's part of getting old." I'm like, bitch, when did you take a 10-foot backdrop on a concrete floor? Once. Uh, me and Sean did it three times a night, 300 nights a year, for year after year after year after year after year. Don't put us in your boat. You know, it, it, it's not that trying to be ugly. You know, like, uh, fuck y'all. <laughs> your pain don't hurt. You know, everybody's pain hurts. But don't put us in that goddamn boat. Man, and you'll know this, the average person, give them a 10 foot, like throw them up in the air, let them flip, if they even know how to flip, let them flip, land on the floor, 10 feet up. Do you think they're going to get up? And we had to get up and take some more. <laughs> we get up and take more. Yeah, I agree. Joshua has a good question. Do you have any stories about the Dynamite Kid? I just interviewed Outback Jack, who was uh, bullied pretty bad. By Where the hell is he at these days? Man, I miss him. He's blind, and he lives in Fort Lauderdale, Florida with his wife. Did you say blind? Yeah, he's unfortunately he's lost his sight. Oh, that sucks, man. He, so he can't see how ugly he is. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> but, but I didn't mean it like that. I, hey, I love you, Outback. Outback, one time when I first went to WWE, oh, uh, he was he was across it. We were in a hotel bar, you know, right there. So that that was the best when, the, when they had a nice bar and all the bitches, uh, all the women would show up. And and you know you hang out there and you get drunk. All you do is take the elevator. <laughs> what floor are you on? Three, four, okay. You know that was the best. And we was at one of those. And we look out the window because there was a commotion going on. And 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 what's his name? Outback. He was naked at the donut shop, like Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. I think it was Dunkin'. Uh, it might have been Krispy Kreme, but whatever the hell it was, he's over there naked ordering donuts. 
<laughs> and you can see the people doing this. <laughs> what are they supposed to do? This is a man naked wanting a damn Krispy Kreme. <laughs> that was when the uh, house yawned him, right? Back then, yeah. Yeah. You know what? In Seattle, <laughs> even though it's a fucked up place right now, but Seattle was, man, they got good seafood. I love food. You know, some people are like, oh, you like seafood? Oh, you like meat? Oh, you like... I love food, man. <laughs> I can never figure out how to be a vegetarian. <laughs> what the fuck? You're eating plants? You might as well be a rabbit. <laughs> but um, Could I get an impression of you as Outback Jack ordering a donut naked? <laughs> Give me two Krispy Kremes. Extra crispy. <laughs> uh klein uh, wants to know if you have any party stories from either ecw or wcw one time me and um sandman you know i forgot his name uh sandman we were we were just back when we used to do drugs um man we were looking for some cocaine and he's like i'll find it anywhere <laughs> I'm like, do your thing, bro. All right, let's you know, just just get some. Here's my money. Let's get some. You know, I put in, and he was right in the middle of the street, stopping, fucking stopping cars. He's like, how much you got on you? <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> oh, Sam, man, I love him, man. <laughs> Crazy ass motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like you guys would have got along well. There's a fan on here that wants you to speak more about uh, the barbershop. He said you got distracted when Nick opened the door in there. I, I, I didn't hear the last part, but I'm going to go with the story is this. When we did that, I actually suggested Sean pour gasoline, you know, pour gas on me. And grab a lighter, then all the boys, you know, jump him like, you know, no, no, you're not gonna burn him up like that. Sean even said he goes, I think that's a little too much. <laughs> There's some fans on here that want to see you have sex with Nick. No way. Hey, Cam Newton, uh, Cam Newton uh, tested positive for COVID. Wow. Luckily, most people survive from that well over 99%. So I'm sure. Yeah, but, but the, the game this weekend, I was betting on the, the, the them, uh, New England. And I, don't, I don't even like them. I got so many friends up in the Northeast. <sighs> right now, I'm sitting here in Long Island. Where are we at? So, so for the record, you do not like people from New England. No, That's I do. The I, do. They I don't like the teams oh. because they're always so good. <laughs> So you and no, Kevin, I love my people up here. I love my people. Kevin Sullivan don't get along then. Why are you trying to start stuff that ain't there? There's a there's a fan on here that wants to know your favorite uh Ric Flair ring rats story. Do you have any uh stories about Ric Flair and ring rats? Well, one time he, he had sex with my girlfriend, and, and the way it happened was I left her, I was so mad at her. Um, yeah, I forgot. You know, we were young and dumb, full of cum, as they say. And and she she did something that pissed me off. So I was like, fuck you, bitch. And it was in St. Louis. And we were living in Kansas City. It was like three and a half hours up the street, according to how you drive. Some people it took four hours, some took three. We were usually right in the middle, three and a half. And so I drove that motherfucking drive home without her. I went with her. But I went back home without her. And then once I got home, I'm like, mm, this ain't right. And, and this was before cell phones, you know, so I had to call the damn Marriott Hotel and say, did you see a blonde haired girl just walking around aimlessly? And I'm like, yes, she's with Ric Flair right now. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it, Rick. But he, according to him, he said he didn't put it up in her. And even if he did, that's okay. I mean, because I I did. <laughs> I put it up in her, you know. So, and and I wasn't trying to marry her, you know. So, so. <laughs> but 
I'm trying to get her back to Kansas City. <laughs> what do you think about the wrestlers today? They do, they just play video games. They don't fucking party. They don't fuck. I, and I don't know nothing about that, but I know uh, I was told this. Shelton Benjamin, who I think is the, probably the best athlete they got. Um, Shelton, Shelton was big into the games. And then he'd be back there playing like tournaments. So they're in tournaments and shit. And they're like, hey, your match is up. <laughs> he'd be like, one minute. <laughs> he's, tell, he's telling them, well, you don't got to wait. <laughs> but they got mad at him over that. Wow. I'm guessing you're not Shelton, a big deal. like an athlete from hell, man. There's nobody like him. Um, they, they, you know, Sean was telling me, he said, um, they would come up with some scenarios and they come up like somebody got to run the ladder, you know, we just run. And they say, and it will say Shelton, <laughs> Shelton could do it. And Shelton, not only would he do it, he would do it better than they thought he could. <laughs> I want to be that athlete, but the only thing I do worth a, worth a damn is sex with my girlfriends. Well, that's, that's all that really counts. Um, what was it like working with Giant Gonzalez? Someone wants to know. That's a good. Oh, I never, I never, met, I never messed with him. But you know what? One time he was, he liked me, and I liked him. I didn't know him. You know, we didn't know each other well at all. Um, but one time he wanted, what do you like? Shake hand. So I stood up, and when I stood up, his dick was right, right here, face level. <laughs> and what? Uh, hurry, hurry. <laughs> shake his hand so I can sit down because his dick is right here. That's a big brother. That's a big old boy, man. Yeah. Did he die? He's dead, yeah. Whose dick was bigger, Giant Gonzalez or Andre? I didn't ever measure. Um, <laughs> I, so I don't even really know how to answer that one because I, you know, I didn't take. Tape measure. You, you, you know what I did one time though. One of my girls said, "God, uh, gosh damn, your dick is big." I mean, and she had a, a tight one. I, I feel like this is a double show now. <laughs> um, her coochie down there, it was tight. It was small, and you know, I'm, I'm not huge, but I'm not you know, evidently. Um, but so. This one time she was saying how it hurt, but it hurt so good. Don't stop. And, you know, so, you know, I kept plowing and, and this is getting horrible. This is going to X-rated. <laughs> we like it. It's all good. <laughs> but so I measured and it was it was eight. I mean, if you push the tip down, it was seven and a half. But if you leave the tip out, it was eight. And, and which I don't know if that's good, bad, you know, average to me, average, you know, because you know, I've been with six so and many. half is average. I heard like six, six and a half is average erect. That's what, yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah. So I'm thinking a little bit, and I was kind of proud, like, hey, a little bit above average, <laughs> not, not way above. But the brothers got thingalings that, you know, sometimes when I'm bored with my girl, I will, I will set them up with, with a brother. And and say let me watch it you know fuck them excuse my language and and they got these foot longs <laughs> the subway ain't got shit on them <laughs> and, and 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 then you watch a girl like taking it and, and and sometimes they put their hands up to the hips like like oh oh stop not too hard not too for some reason that's a turn on too. <laughs> But, uh, you know, to watch the brothers plow. Yeah. Well, anyways, you were telling us about the girl. It was yeah, well, well, how did we get there? <laughs> yeah. your, your mind is wandering onto men's dicks again. But uh, you were telling us a story about the girl. Uh, it was hurting her, but uh, she didn't want you to stop. Which one? <clears throat> oh, which one? Well, that I don't know. Like, you were going to finish that story. Something like that happened with me once, actually. The girls started crying, and I'm like, are you, do you want me to stop? And, like, she's just hysterically in tears. And she's like, no! Just keep yeah, that, that's the thing. It's like, oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, so you stop. No, don't stop, don't stop. Okay. <laughs> I guess you got, you got, 
<clears throat> the way, uh, from what I've learned, it's the way you throw it, side to side, <laughs> up and down, side to side. <laughs> Put Have you heard about this Jim Cornette supposedly likes uh, to watch men have sex with his big fat wife? And I've her? heard. I've heard. Well, I didn't hear that part. <laughs> but I've heard things. Yeah. And Jimmy, Jimmy, I love Jimmy. Hopefully he loves me too. And I don't mean like that. Um, but I've heard things. <laughs> yeah, that's. I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> Who is your favorite uh, all-time opponent? Um, well, well, my favorite match was Kurt Angle. Um, I, man, Kurt, Kurt is good. <laughs> you know, that brother is good. You know, um, I always, you know, because I'm a collegiate wrestler, um, I had it pretty good. I finished third in the nation. Um you know, it's the second year, my sophomore year. Um, they, you know, we, you know this from, from your own stuff. We love people who do good, you know, because you work in your If you're going to do good in what we do, you're working your ass off. And I got nothing but respect for somebody that works their own ass off. But so to answer your question, <laughs> Sometimes you just want to see. I don't think this was a question. You just want to see your girl having sex with somebody else because when you're having sex with them, you're right there, you're right there. So you're, you're looking down, you know, you're seeing the titties bounce. Excuse, excuse me. You're seeing the titties bounce, you're seeing down there. But when you're on the sidelines, you get to see the whole thing. <laughs> it's it's fucked up. It's it's messed up. I, I apologize. I never I never it was a song. I never promised you a rose garden. <laughs> I'm surprised you made it this far in the interview without swallowing that paper yet. I just I had, you saw that. I just had yeah. told some of it. All right. Well, last question. Do you have any good stories about the Undertaker? Underwear taker. We one time, uh, me and him and Paul, you know, rest in peace, Paul, uh, Percy, Percy. Um, we were. It was after after we'd been to strip club. The boys love strip clubs. I do too. You know, I like to see naked bitches. But they they at the house all day long. You know, so it's like if we're going out, <laughs> let's find somebody. You know, um, it's not. Here I am, naked. Just throw me a dollar, <laughs> you know. But um, one one night we left the strip club because the boys love strip clubs, and I'm okay with it. I'd rather go into a regular club, but you know we're gonna hang with the boys, and and so you know they always always love strip clubs. And Jake Roberts told me he goes. You're going to fuck one of them. It's just a matter of which one. <laughs> and he was, and he was right. <laughs> but, um, was under, yeah. So, so, um, we, we, you know, one night in particular that stands out. No, I can't tell that story. Yes, you can. Come on. All right. Now you go with me. Yeah, I'll just keep saying "come on" until you tell it. Well, what happened was, and, and I'm not gonna say her name because she, you know, she died, um, and I love her to death. We all love her. You, know, you remember the one with the shaved heads on the side, um, Luna, Luna Vachon. I don't. Damn, you had to say. Now I can't tell the story. No, but that's one night. Critical. One night we were um, at my house. This is back when we did cocaine. We don't do cocaine no more, that, as far as I know. Um, but back then we did. I mean, shit. We did, we didn't even hide it. We poured on the table. All you do is get a straw <laughs> out of the mountain. <laughs> It'd be like five thousand dollars worth of cocaine right there. But that was a good party because you knew people were going to be fucking 
all weekend. You either be part of it or you can watch it. <laughs> Hopefully you were a part of it. <laughs> but the cocaine always helped. You know, that's back then. We don't we don't do that that much anymore. Um but back to a new story. I forgot what it was. You were talking about the Undertaker and Luna. Oh, uh, Luna. Oh, shit. That's not her name. She, now I can't tell it. Yeah, she's dead. It doesn't matter. Yeah, she, but her family's alive. Mad Dog's passed. So what happened was we, we went home after a 10, 10, 10 day tour. And um, we, uh, we were friends. And I like to think we were friends when, you know, when the accident, you know, when she left the world. But we were friends. But we actually, you know, because what's his name with the fangs? Uh, what's his name? Gangrel. Gangrel. No, I love him, man. Me and him are so good friends. And they were dating at the time. And I, 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 I don't mess with married people or somebody even dating because to me, I ain't got many standards. <laughs> I ain't got many morals. But that one. Because that's like under God's eyes. Y'all love each other? And I'm going to step in the middle of that? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, why? Look at all these free bitches. Well, I'm going to step in one box up. You know? So not. But um, we got we did so much cocaine that weekend. And drank a lot. You know, I don't drink that much. Anymore. Where's that bottle at, brother? Huh? Oh. Okay. But anyway, um, you know, here, here's the thing. And my, my girl Tara, she's going to get upset if she ever sees this. But. It was a girl, one of the girls I was seeing in there in Orlando at the time. Um, I straddled her. We were all partying. We were all drunk. We were all cocaine. We were all. And I got over top, you know, like oh, my, my knees over her shoulders and I'm over, over top. And, you know, she's blowing. And look, um, the girl snuck up from behind. And I'm reaching back like it's me, like doing the finger thing into her, right? But it wasn't me. It was the the friend. And then, you know, so I got it covered because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm back here like it's me doing it. You know, my arm, you know, back here, and she's blowing me, and, and man, this is horrible. <laughs> but she's, she's, you know, I'm getting it. And then all of a sudden, her eyes get wide ass open. I'm like, what? Luna, um, whoever it was, was back there, started licking her. Well, I'm I'm right here. It couldn't be me licking her, right? And she's trying to look around the corner, like, get around, look, and look, and look. And, and I'm like, shit. <laughs> and, she, and then she saw in the shaved head, and she went crazy. <laughs> she had a fit, man. She broke everything in the house, which... Yeah, I, I felt bad about because we kind of we should have told her. Look, Luna, I mean, a, a, a friend's gonna sneak in and lick your put your down there and while I'm while you're blowing me. <laughs> I think if we would just told her, she would have said, "No, okay." <laughs> so the friend was the Undertaker. Is that what the Undertaker had to do with this? Oh, the underwear taker. So we went to a strip club. Oh, because Tara, her name is Tara. She worked at a strip club. What are you doing? They won't let me have a shot. But underwear taker was at the strip club that, that she worked at. Oh, man, one of her friends. Damn, I wanted to tear it up. But um, never got to. Mike can now, but she's like 300 pounds. Like some cows look at her and go, mm. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Justin and Klein here for your questions. But you're a little late because we unfortunately have to wrap this up with Marty because uh, 
he's got an autograph session or something to do. Where I can get a flight. I got to fly down to Atlanta and do a, a show there. Right. Um, and and there's two girls that I know. From, might be more, but I know two of them. They're going. They're going to want set of, certification. Is that a word? Set of, how you say that? Satisfaction. Well, satisfaction is the easy way. Satisfaction. I don't know if that's a word, bro. We can we can Webster that one. <laughs> so where do you have Twitter, Marty? Do you have a real Twitter? Yes, I do. Where I'm never on it because I don't know how to navigate. You know, I get frustrated. Right. Like I'm trying to say something to you know, DT and I are friends. Um, oh, Donald Trump. Sorry, we're friends, and 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 that's how me and him usually communicate. Now, now you got to go through a security system. You got answers like your mother's maiden name and all this shit. And I'm like, nah, look, man, I don't care to talk that much. <laughs> he, he contacted me, <laughs> and I got to answer all this shit. <laughs> So what is By your the way? I don't think I don't think he's got COVID. I think it's a work. I I actually suspect that could be a work too. Is there anything you want to plug before we go here? Because I know you got to catch your flight. Uh, Facebook and bitches. They can contact you through your Facebook. Yeah, it's it's one M uh, Marty Zanetti. There's so many fake ones out there. It's the one in front of the barbershop window. All uh, right. That, I did notice but I need those to keep up with Hannibal because Hannibal's got the only one that keeps popping up on my screen is professional. I mean, you know, everybody got a little camera phone and, and like, hey, how you doing? Hey, I already talk. Now, this brother puts shit into it. He's got like three, four, five cameras, microphones, everything. You know, Hannibal is the man. Exactly. Y'all keep up with him, man. Keep I up with him. Hopefully, I, I don't, I don't, I don't endorse nothing. Not that it matters about me because I'm a murderer, <laughs> but Hannibal is the man. Well, I really appreciate that, Marty. I hope to run into you again. There's lots of fan questions we'll ask next time. Uh, hey, fan- hey, hey, hold on one second. We got to go. Okay. All right, Hannibal, we got to take off, brother. I want, I want to ask, let me ask you two more. Okay. Uh, give me two more fan questions. Are you serious? Is Nick going to allow that? Oh, we can no, go. Yeah. <laughs> hurry. No, wait, wait. Hurry, Did hurry. Two more, two more, two more. Sherry. Did you have sex with Sensational Sherry? This guy wants to know. No, uh, Sean did. I didn't. What's the house party story with Pat Tanaka? No, we got we got. We're <laughs> See you, <laughs> the captain's uh, kicking us off. <laughs> the captain's kicking us off. Thanks, everyone, for all your... Uh, your questions. Uh, Nick was the party pooper there. Hope you enjoyed Marty Gennetti as, as wild as ever. He's still a rocker.